Merry Christmas, one and all, and welcome to Mind Mesh's Movie Talk. Now, we understand it's not Christmas yet, but December is all about Christmas movies. All about them holiday feels. All about them holiday feels, and we're continuing on the path that we began with Iron Man 3, and we're watching another Christmas film, Lethal Weapon. I know it sounds like a... It's not a Christmas film, but trust us, once you watch the opening of the film... It doesn't sound like one to you. I thought it sounded like one. I mean, yeah. I feel like Santa's sleigh is a pretty lethal weapon, but like... Santa slays. Yeah, Santa slays, if you know what I mean. And I ain't talking about like a hot hot guy walking down the street. I'm talking... He kills. He murders people. He slits people. He slits children's throat and he shovels coal down their throats that's what santa does but anyways <laughs> sorry to go down that dark d- uh, delirious path for christmas but yeah we're watching the lethal weapon the the movie of 1987 uh all you, i know is, is that yeah, it's we've an never, action flick yeah it's an action flick me and fish have never watched this we actually never introduced ourselves my name's chayton and i'm fish i think we did though did we i don't remember well, everything if a, we did everything is a blur. Is again. yeah everything's a blur to me you know you have to hear something three times before you remember so my name's chayton and i'm fish so and there you go guess what <laughs> what's up tell me how we can sync this up bro oh yeah no it's it's super super simple so the sync up our commentary track with the movie itself, it's on several streaming platforms, the main one being Hulu. You can also, of course, rent it and all that nonsense, or you have it on DVD. But basically, what you're going to do is the uh, to sync this movie up with the commentary track, you're going to press pause when I send the pause and press play as soon as the Warner Brothers logo fades completely to black. Once the Warner Brothers logo fades completely to black, you Sky press... and all. Yeah, sky and all, you press play on our commentary track. But for now, press pause. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. If you aren't synced yeah, now, yeah, no. this is a good point to I try wasn't, and fix Okay, it. I wasn't synced up with the actual singing, but all I'll say is that uh, this is a Christmas movie. If you have oh, any... Wait. If you have Mel any, Gibson's in this? Yeah, Mel... <laughs> yeah, what, he stars in this. What do you mean he's in this? I know this? nothing about this film. <laughs> I, all I know is that Mel Gibson's in it, but... Jingle Bell Fun... Oh, swing. The frosty air... Yeah, no, if oh, you don't man. think this if, is a Christmas movie at this point, you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It <laughs> has a Christmas song in it, and... We all know from Iron Man 3, yeah, that has means a, it's it has a, a Christmas has, movie. Yeah, if it has a Christmas song, you know that means that it's a Christmas movie. That's just a telltale sign. Easy peasy. Tom Atkins, I like this little opening shot with the like negative view that the, the opening credits have on the cityscape there. That's nice. That gives a little uh, that gives a little oomph to the names. A little, Do you like, think that spacing. was intentional or they just like underexposed well, that a, shot? Oh, no. With this kind of shot, I, um, I full because, like, at this point, cameras weren't, didn't have high dynamic range, so it was impossible to capture the brights of these lights, but also capture the texture of the, or, like, the, the actual architecture of the building. That's fair. I guess if you had a higher ISO film, it would just get grainy. Yeah, no. So, at this point, I mean, in 1987, we didn't have the technology that, like, common just DSLRs have where you can shoot a film like you can shoot a shot like this and not need a helicopter and see the grain of the of the concrete of this building yeah no like no what are we opening on is it are are we watching a porno is it (laughs) I think this is actually an 80s porno oh my god we we got the wrong movie guys I'm sorry (laughs) oh my was this rated R yeah this was rated R was it oh uh welcome to Christmas this is your present uh naked females and probably murder. And I murder. I feel like she's about to die. Yeah, with the 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 orchestra score that's going on right now, I I'd believe that she dies. What I uh, God, now that I'm thinking about this, I'm just thinking about how like women nudity is okay in films, but male nudity isn't. It's like it's still used, but just for some reason, a lot less. The only instance I can think of full male nudity is in Game of Thrones. That's the only, like, super common instance I can think of. Uh, it happened in Gone Girl. Did it? You saw uh, you saw Ben Affleck's schlong, and I think you, saw, you? Uh, I think you also saw Neil Patrick Harris's schlong. 
I don't remember at all. But maybe I was just so invested in that movie that I wasn't paying attention to the genitalia of the character. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe that was just me. I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad you paid attention then. <laughs> Speaks volume of your character. Look, man, I you trying to out me right now, but I have no response. <laughs> you have no response because you know I'm right. Is this a is this a Christmas film though? Yeah, yes. no, it's very Christmassy. I mean, she had a Christmas tree on her balcony, and look at all those pretty. Oh my! Wait, uh, oh. this isn't the kind of murder I was thinking about when you said murder. Yeah, not murdering yourself, bro. I swear, this is just an opening to an '80s porno. Like I, I mean, I'm not saying that I've watched the a lot of '80s comes porno. In. <laughs> the, car- <laughs> the pizza guy walks to the door. I got your cheese pizza with extra sausage. Mama comes in. Oh my oh. god. All right, I'm going to have to score this dive 10 out of 10. Let's see if she sticks to landing. All right, a bit of a backflop. Going to have to lower that down to an 8 out of 10. Hey, and no, her pose at the end is pretty good 9 out of 10. Sorry I'm fluctuating <laughs> on my score so much, but like, you know, sometimes when you land like you're sleeping in a bed, you just have to give it that score. Is that the milkman? Where's the paper boy? Why is it? Wait, is that like the opening? What is that? Lyrics to like a, a sitcom, like a family sitcom. I'm thinking about it. Full house. That man's naked in the bath, and you're serving him a birthday cake. Stop! That little girl is straight up staring at his schlong. You don't wear swimming trunks in the bath. No, I don't. But also, <laughs> what I was gonna say is that the happy birthday song was copyrighted, so they had to make up a custom one just for this movie. Bro, if. You- I wish there was a smoke detector in that bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> she even said it. She said the smoke alarm would have gone off. If there was one more candle. Well, if he was 43, how then he, <laughs> how could he eat cake in the bath? Though? You don't do that naturally, <laughs> <laughs> bro. The, uh, the frosting acts like a bath bomb. <laughs> Wait, what is this? This the, is Lily the 80s. sensual saxophone. This is Lily in eighties porno. I swear to God, if there's not a sex scene in this film, I'm gonna be upset. Is that a dog or is that a yes. muskrat? <laughs> That's a border collie. That's a border collie mixed with a wiener dog. Never mind. I think it's like an Australian shepherd. Let's get a DNA test on this dog. I don't believe it's real. Oh, it's gonna get hit by a car. Oh, thank God. I was waiting for it. Oh, we're seeing our two protagonists. And here's Mel Gibson. Yeah, this is how every 80s movie starts. Have you not been paying attention? The guy that has the family. The guy, and the guy that has nothing to lose. That's right, my boy. Bro, Mel Gibson with a mullet. and I, th- I think that's prime Mel Gibson. Can I just Talking say that? Talking about no male nudity? What are you talking? Look at, look at Dude, good old Melly. No, look, if I see his ass, that's only partial nudity. I need to see that ball sack tripping below his legs. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't seen it. Nope. There ain't nothing. Either he sucked that... <laughs> either he's got a cock sock on, or his balls just don't hang low. They don't swing to and fro. He can't tie him in a knot. He can't tie him in a bow. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> This is what I need. Dude, you got a little spinach in your teeth. You need to clean that out. Is he pissing in that beer bottle right now? Oh, never mind. He's he's drinking while pissing. The ultimate... Con- Dude, you just gargled half of that out. Weak burp. Fish can do better burps. I've heard it. He does it every... You've heard movie. it here, folks. I can <laughs> do better burps. He does it every movie talk and every mind mesh. Make sure to go watch to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he, yeah, literally that girl just grabbed that bacon's like this is all I get to eat for. What happened to their wall? Wait a second. <laughs> Am I missing Wait, something? I thought that was just like a normal, you know, yeah, I, I thought that was too. Are they just remodeling their home and they're not going to talk about it? Or Bro, you can't just drop three eggs like that. How do you not see it? Against that white vinyl flooring, of course you're going to see the stark yellow of the egg yolk. You're missing all this great dialogue. Bro, I don't care about the dialogue. I'm just waiting for the sex scene. And I'm going to talk about... 
Bro, is he t- what's he drinking? Is that orange juice in a wine bottle? No, that was pills. Wait a second. He just poured pills out of that bottle. I don't <laughs> Oh, uh, can I can I try and predict where this movie is going? Yeah, sure, man. Have you is ever it, heard of anything Lethal Weapon? By the way, no. Okay. Is this is this where the trope of like the uh, the cop goes and like has to get a new assistant, and it's like some like bro? Sorry to interrupt you. There's a cat on top of that fridge. All right, continue. Do you know what I'm talking about, though? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I completely understand where you're coming Cop from. Cop has the ass- and has to get, like, a new assistant on this case, and, like, it's some, like, wild card. He doesn't know how to, like, feel about it. I think it's first. a retired cop in Lethal Weapon, though, but I'm pretty sure you're right just because I've seen the, the, the trailers for the TV show that I think got canceled. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was it, like, like, a reboot show Yeah, there was, out? like, a reboot, but it wasn't a movie. It was a TV show, and it starred, like, someone from American Pie. But then he got fired because he said some, like, I don't remember what happened. But then they hired someone else, and then they were like, uh, we're not happy with this. And then I think it they canceled it. Yeah, it just went downhill from there. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know how they treated it in the TV show. Like, oh, did my... I don't even remember the, the offbeat cop's name or the retired wild card cop. I keep saying MacGyver, but I know MacGyver's is actual like another actual show. That looks like Coulson. Who? Agent Coulson? Yeah. Which one? The one that's balding or the one yeah. that's like walking away right now? The one that's balding. But then Bro, is that Mel Gibson? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Agent Coulson doesn't have that annoying of a nasally voice. It's true. Is it? Wait, Tennessee? This is the second Christmas movie that connects itself to Tennessee. Whoa. What a weird time. He's astonished. And that, and this day, the man, the commissioner, put on his bifocals and his eyes so screwed look. two sizes that day. Bro, half of these shots have been out of focus. Bro, this is, an, this is a film matter. in 87. What do you mean? They didn't even have focus in that time. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Who's this? Is this Mel Gibson's dad? No, never mind. I take it all back. I was expecting more, but I love this fucking yeah, score. No, this sensual sax nonsense is what is is that a phone? This is such a product of its time and I yeah, love it. No, I feel like that's a TI eighty four calculator in his <laughs> hand right now. <laughs> that is not a cell phone. <laughs> I love that we grew up in a period that we can, we know what a TI-84 is, but like a flip phone to that. That phone has a cord attached to it. Wait a second. <laughs> what kind of fucking phone is that? That's like first, that's like new age cell phone where it came in a suitcase and you had to open it up and the antenna like poked out and it was still connected. Bro, this man is snorting straight up Christmas trees. He grinds up the Christmas tree yeah, he into grinds a fine the, white powder. Yeah, he grinds up the Christmas tree sap into a fine white powder because you mix sugar Santa enough. snow. Yeah, Santa snow. Ha, ha, ha. Chris Kringle's coming up my throat tonight. Wait. Going down. I don't know. Why does everyone have a mullet in the 80s? Let's talk about it for a second. <laughs> We're not that Wait. everyone has a mullet. Is he gambling Christmas trees right now? All right, hear me out. Three lumberjacks come into a Christmas tree shop. Wait, is he buying Christmas trees or is he selling Christmas trees? No, he's buying a Christmas tree. For a Christmas tree? No, for the cocaine. It's made from Christmas trees. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. The man's a cop. He likes to take shots. I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, it's fake.
He's gonna shoot you all three of them. Crazy? Wait, this is literally. Wait, <laughs> did he just three stooges? Yes. Them? Uh oh, bro. Is I I swear this is just the start of the Joker. Whoa! Whoa! Did you see how he had like fifteen yeah, shots? Yeah, that him? was straight up a shotgun. Why? He but just, it was he a just pistol. barrel rolled. Oh my god! This is all. <laughs> this is. All, I love it. This is. He just already, did a three sixty on the ground. This is already my favorite movie we watched on Movie Talks thus far, by far. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> weave through the Christmas trees. <laughs> Bob weaves serpentine, serpentine. Oh great! The guy with the the mullet grabbed me. Oh wait! Just like so fifteen wait, they characters. They were cops. I'm so confused right now. He he's not a cop. No, he was I acting understand. as a cop. Wait, is this guy Gaston from Beauty and the Beast? Yes. Oh, thank goodness. I was really wondering. No one shoots like Gaston. No one, I don't know the song. I think I've watched Beauty and the Beast a grand total of one time. And I, I didn't same. even I didn't even finish the film. But I guess I wasn't the target audience for that. So <laughs> And then they tried to swoon me in by getting Emma Stone to play Belle in the live action remake. Well, we saw the original in our film history class, but that's not definitely. Oh not yeah, the that's Disney not version. that's not uh yeah. That's a that's a no go. That's like French. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the original Beauty and the Beast was a wild time. It is very weird. It's the Columbia Pictures. It was Three Stooges. Oh, he's watching the Three Stooges. No wonder he got that idea. He watches true comedy. Deck the halls with bows of holly. Blah, blah, blah. Dude, this is a straight up Christmas movie. I don't even want people to argue with us. Right. No, la, la, la. This is. Bro, Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny are singing in the background right now. This is all I need in life. I know it's a three two. What the hell? Oh, his what? He lost his wife. Wait, was that the girl that jumped from the building? Is that is this how this all ties together? I don't know if it is or not. Watch this. I can take apart this pistol Wait, in nineteen he, seconds and put it. How did he get out of that last situation? Oh, where he got stopped by the police. I think they just know him. Oh. I think so. Is he a cop or not? I think he's like he's an informant. If that makes any sense, yeah. Like he does, he does like those weird situations for for cops. Bro, this Stop. ain't the way, dude. Not the way. Trust me, bro. He turned off the safety. There have been like two suicides in the. Yeah, in this movie, in the past, I don't know, how long has this movie been going? Like, 17 minutes? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, no, I, uh, I swear, his wife is the one that jumped off the building. I don't know. Also, why, why Mel Gibson not have a mullet in those wedding photos, but he has one now? If he anything, it, it needs to be the reverse. You he have a mullet. You only have, no, you only have a, about himself, you only though. have a mullet when you're happy. You don't have a mullet when you're sad. That's just the rule of thumb of mullets. Mel Gibson giving an Oscar-worthy uh, performance right now. This man needs braces. He said... Jesus Christ. He said through the skull isn't good enough. I gotta go through the back of my throat. Bro, you gotta have more of an angle. If you do it like that, you'll you'll survive. And then it's just pain and agony. Dude, it was Bugs Bunny. Sorry to go dark that last second there, but like it's okay. I dude, you have to understand this is an explicit podcast slash commentary track. If you can't handle it, go watch Thirteen Reasons Why, and then you'll truly. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that's a thirteen. That's the second Thirteen Reasons Why joke I've made. I know you really want to fucking. I want to watch them. Yeah. I feel like it would make you make such good material for us. <laughs> Oh my god. 13 Reasons Why is just straight up teenage angst. This is adult angst. Think what we can do with people that are unmature. It's so sad. I believe him. The only thing I don't like about his performance is how he juts out his like bottom row of teeth. He shows me them crooked boys. (laughs) 
He's like grabbing his throat like those people who have smoked so long they had to have that little like port install on their throat to talk. I think when they talk like this. Yes. I hate to make fun of him, but like. Bro, he's. This is an orgy. Straight up, she is about to whack them all with that police baton and show them who's who. I'm the dominatrix here. You're all the doms. I mean, the submissives. Oh. Christmas! That's Mel Gibson's dad. That that looks like Mel Gibson, just older and slightly huskier. Does it? Yes, it does. Are you not looking at the same guy? I'm, no, I you're looking at it. the girl. No. I'm looking at the guy. <laughs> I don't see it. That's just not true. That's a uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's a little harsh when it comes to <laughs> yeah. Oh, kick the Wait, mic stand. Does that men's bathroom not have the typical like symbol? Did it actually have like the male symbol on it? That's it wild. I've never actually seen that. Was that a thing in the eighties? I, I don't know. I thought they he always is had an eighties man. Uh, yeah, I thought they were always like a typical iconography when it came to like restrooms. Assault homicide. Bro, he just stole all of that man's butterscotch. <laughs> oh, here's the scene where they come together. Here we go. Yeah, I need them to match up. Oh, it's he his brought, birthday. He literally bought a goodie basket full of, like, baked goods. With the beard, he only has a mustache. Is a mustache a beard? Oh, he had a beard and he shaved it, and it looks younger. Oh, You know a man's insane when all he does is play with a rubber band when he sits on a desk. That's not true. Well, if he's just started shooting the rubber band at his face. Oh my. Jesus Christ. Hey, you were right. <laughs> Aha. It's a. It's retired cop Mel Gibson. <laughs> the wild card. Oh, look at that shot. Nice little sun rays through the fog. I like that. Silhouette. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty. That's truly 80s, though. <laughs> yeah, no, this whole this whole little Wait, scene here is... We, we're, trying, we're learning about these characters. Whatever. All I need to know is one's sane, one's insane, and that's what I need. I just love how he does not care to pull it out anywhere. Yeah, no, he's just like, uh, yeah, if I need to show off my gun, I gotta show off my gun. If I'm in, like, a children's hospital, if I'm on the streets, if I'm in the sewers, no matter what, if you want to see it, I got it. You call me old? This is also the old and young cop dynamic right yeah, now. Yeah, he's not. I don't think Mel Gibson's a retired cop. Oh, they <gasps> said it. They Roll said it. The fucking credits. It's over. It's done. Yeah, no, he's a cop because he's just talking how no one wants to work with him. I don't he think said it again. Cop. Well, this is an 80s porno, so if you both don't get fucked, I'll honestly be kind of upset. Oh, 
I don't know if half of these shots are out of focus or if it's just the like time no, of they're film out of stock. Focus. Are they're, you sure? Because there's just a general fuzziness uh, to like old film. There are other films that are more sharp than this. Yeah, but like During those have also time, been like remastered. No, like the original um, Apocalypse Now that was shot in the 70s oh. looks a lot better than this. It also might be the quality of lenses that they're using as well, though. Yeah, that's very true. I, I wonder if this budget or like this movie had the budget to counteract that sort of stuff. Bro. That or they just had a bad AC. This is literally the kind of fucking lighting scheme I want in my room. Just like. Yeah, no, I, I want. Like, I love the uh, the idea of having those like weird netting fit like fishnet fairy lights. I don't know. I'm a, I'm not a fan of like super bright lights in my room. I'm a fan of like keeping it like nice, calm. These like, fucking bozos. You hear this man? These fucking bozos. Yeah, dude. He's got the Walt Disney mustache and everything. Do you smoke? Yeah. What do you smoke? Uh, cigarettes, the marijuana, the crack cocaine, the crystal meth. I smoke it all. He's very what's demeaning. Wait, I want to see what, what's going to happen here. Dude, he's going to shove that flame right down his mouth. Yeah. Oh. Left arm. He's going to show his devotion. Is that Ralph Lund, Lund, Was it Rocky Five? What I don't remember when he fought Drag, Drago. Oh my god. He doesn't burn. The dedication. His skin is made of silicon. Literally, it's not burning. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You ever seen brisket? <laughs> <laughs> That's a before and after. Not gonna lie, I have absolutely zero clue what this is all about. Like, is this just a drug deal? Is that Tommy Wiseau? Some- <laughs> I'm just gonna compare all the people in this to, to other people. I think this is like, I think that's the villain of the film. He's there introducing him. Yeah. I could, okay, yeah. <gasps> Christmas! There we go. How many, how many ties in do you guys need to understand this is a Christmas film? Do we have to beat it over your fucking heads? I was old partner. Reminiscing of old times. Yeah, that's why he has a mustache now. It's reminiscing too much. Oh, they probably like were like, how do we uh how do we make them look younger? Hey, just shave. Yeah, <laughs> just shave. Then 45 we'll- will make you look 35. Rule of thumb. Dude, literally every scene has every scene has Christmas music playing in the background. Deck the halls. This is Deck the Halls again. They could only afford two uh two Christmas songs. One was Jingle Bell Rock and the other one was Deck the Halls. <laughs> Maybe we've been talking too much, but I'm I'm really confused on what the plot is of this film. Besides a good cop gets paired up with a wild card cop that's on the brink of being fired. Why is it that every man in the 80s has the exact same haircut and facial hair? I love it. I mean, I I dig the style, but they all look very similar, except for Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson's the standout. The wild card. The wild card has the mullet and no facial hair. That's what's kind of weird. Well, maybe it's just a cop thing. Maybe in this movie, all cops have the same haircut and mustache. Maybe that's just it. Maybe. Even 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 the female cops. I saw a few of them. I saw th- I saw that mustache mustache creeping out. Mustache, up. mustache. You know how th- that's how it's properly said. Mustache is a French term, so you have to say it like the French would. 
a mustache. Whoa, what? you can't ask a cop to do that. I like that lighting too. I like the lights in this film. I mean, this one kind of upsets my like symmetry nonsense that I typically follow, but like it's symmetrical, but not at the same time. And I kind of like it for that. It's also like a power dynamic too. I wonder if people accept this film more as a Christmas movie than Die Hard because of how much Christmas is in this movie. I don't know. Like with Die Hard, it's like the opening of the film is Christmas. But that's about it. But this movie, every scene has a Christmas tree, a wreath, or a Christmas song. Lost Boys. Whoa. I, I also like how in the 80s, no cop had a cop car. They're just normal cars that they can stick a, a light on top. It's because he's a detective. Oh, is he? I think so. I guess I missed that bar of the plot. <laughs> That's why they're not in uniform. Wait. Oh, wait, he was like, he was head of suicide homicide or whatever, right? Uh, that was his job I think description. So. Wait, so is this whole movie going to be like a bunch of like suicide mysteries? Is that what Lethal Weapon is? I think so. I'm kind of a, I don't know if I'm okay with that. Ritzko. Sorry. I'm focusing on literally everything except for the main plot. I'm focusing on all the background details. Santa, Christmas! Santa, save him! <laughs> Santa, get out of your sleigh! Where's Rudolph? Hurry up! Save the man! I can't wait to see what he does to pull this man from the edge. He just pulls him off. He's like, stop. No, stop, please. Don't do it. It's not worth it. <gasps> Christmas! Oh, I, I've seen people fucking reference this scene before. Wait, what? I've seen people, I've seen people reference this scene. Oh, have they? Yeah. In what context? I, th I think, like, someone's trying to jump and he's like, no, 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 let me get up there. Oh, let me join you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Family Guy parried this. Family Guy parries everything. Yeah. Parodies. Did I say parries? This is kind of... I don't like his performance. Not Mel Gibson. The, the fucking dude. everyone loves Raymond over here. Or Seinfeld. One of those other 80s sitcoms. I really want them to get super buddy buddy and like sit down on the ledge so that their feet are dangling off and they're just like, so how was your afternoon? What'd you have for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. They'll die of lung cancer before they die of suicide. That's just the common law. <gasps> you said you want to do nothing. He didn't say that. Oh, I like Mel Gibson in this one. I really oh, wait, what? <gasps> wait, this isn't the, where the, I was the handcuffs are broken in that shot. 
Were they really? Yeah. How are they going to survive this? Wait, when was that blown up and put there? I think that he was killing time, distracting them. I mean, I get that, but, like, wouldn't you hear the giant air, like, the giant like, I, air I blowers know. that would have to blow that up? Like... They also didn't, like, discuss that beforehand. He no, didn't know they were going to blow that up. He was just playing off the cuff. Wait, Santa was following them for a second there. <laughs> Door went through the fucking... Jesus. I mean, this is so fucking 80s. It's very 80s, but a bullet is pretty nutritional. It has your daily amount of iron in it. I don't know what gunpowder is comprised of, but I'm sure it's got like calcium or something in it. Maybe a little sulfur. How much sulfur do you think we need? Sorry, I'm comparing a bullet to a daily men's vitamin, but like... <laughs> This is how I, this is, this is how I, uh, what is it? When you're dealing with something that shouldn't be dealt with, like, naturally. Isn't there a term for it? I love the movie ended like this. He just kills them and then goes to jail. Bro, I wish it ended when they said lethal weapon. Oh, that's fun. I like to, oh. I feel like Get this your sends words a out. bad stigma to people that feel this way. Yeah, no. I he, mean, just, well, he just said that, like, since he's suicidal, he's like, oh, you're, you're a psycho. Well, you also have the... I mean, it's also a movie of its time. That's true. So, like, nowadays there's so many studies and so many, like, understandings of this. It's just not okay. So, it, it, I guess it's a, one of the... Again, oh, it's a product of his time. Yeah, here's a suitcase phone again. I wasn't lying. It's literally like a micro suitcase. I know. How do you dial numbers on that? I'm trying to like read the, the back front. of the phone. I know, but like, are those numbers? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out like, because I mean, oh, what what was it called? It was like T T I nine or something like T T six nine or something like that. It was something weird. There was a weird name for the actual like one through zero combination on an old school flip phone that used to call it or like the texting style that used to be on it well, I'm just trying to figure out where those numbers fall on that phone no I get you <laughs> it's a good line don't worry have a french fry bro if all my worries could be cured by french fries I'd accept it Was it something I said? Wait, so is he complaining that they got the job done or is he complaining that he's never had something like this happen in the years? Yeah. Okay. He's complaining that he's never had anything like this happen. Wait, how has he never had something like that happen? He works with suicide, no, homicide. No, like working with someone like that. How? I refuse to believe that. Like, if he's that trusted, why would they ever pair him up with a guy like this? Like, this is the kind of guy you pair up with someone that you don't want working there anymore. Also, Mel <laughs> Gibson has a bald spot on the side of his head. I was just noticing that. While working on set, oh, a crazed chimpanzee walked on the set and bit into the side of Mel Gibson's skull. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
We're going to McDonald's. You asked for fries. This is where we're heading. He already had fries. Bro, you can never have enough fries. I refuse to believe anyone in this world can ever have enough fries. If I could live off fries, I would. On the road again. Oh, I can't wait to get back on the road again. Heading to McDonald's for a shake and some fries and maybe a Big Mac too. Again. How long is this shot going to be? Until they get out of there. Yep, <laughs> until they turn the curb where you can't see the car anymore so we can transition to this odd like subdivision. Wait. 4241. Well, that's a nice moped. Top of the line. See, it's Christmas. Hey, Christmas. Wait. So was that like their maid or something? Oh. Like, in, wait, how that? Wait, I'm so confused on how they got in. I'm sure that person let them out. I know they let them in, but like, she obviously knew that they were coming. So they like expected them. God damn it. No this more fucking sen- No more sensual sax. We're going with sensual sax plus guitar riffs and drums. And that bass. Yeah. They got that bass. I'm 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 happy with the evolution of the soundtrack throughout the film. They got a koi pond and everything. That's Cocaine. Yep. And they're okay with it. Never mind. I take it all back. <gasps> Jesus Christ. So this is why I wanted to be a cop as a kid. This is what I thought the occupation was. That's not true. What what what's on that pool? I was about to say that. It's like old school pool cover before they knew how to make a pool cover. Wait, was that a water speckle on that shot or was I just seeing things? What is Lethal Weapon? (laughs) The movie or I think Mel Gibson is the Lethal Weapon. I mean, I understand both of those points. I'm just asking what is Lethal Weapon because I'm honestly, I'm like, are they trying to do a drug bust or? Yeah. So I think what's happening is they're trying to investigate these suicides. Because they're not suicides. But isn't that like not their department? I, that I don't know. Oh, that's nice. Oh my goodness. It shrink wrapped the man. No, Gibson's got him. Oh, they both they both got it. What you don't know is because Mel Gibson has a mullet and not a mustache, it makes him less aerodynamic than the man with the short hair and the mustache. Simple physics, really. Dude, you're strangling him. Oh, my. You you just solidified his death more than anything. How did they film that? That must have been dangerous. Very dangerous. Yeah, to no, straight up. They probably just had smaller sections of like that material. I so guess. I don't get, know. That so was people like people couldn't get tangled up in it. Or they just had like a shorter a shorter pull cover that only covered his body and nothing else. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh Betty. Bro, Mel Gibson's not wearing pants. Oh, wait, he wasn't. <laughs> he wasn't. He's Is putting he them on right now. He's free balling. Dude, straight up commando. I like Mel Gibson. He's a <laughs> <laughs> favorite you know character what? in the movie. Now I'm a Mel Gibson fan. Yeah, now I'm a Mel Gibson fan. You know, his most recent films wasn't a, wasn't much of a fan, but these, these old the ones, weapon. yeah, it's a good good. He wears cowboy boots? He's watching? Yes! What? I think he was watching rugby. (laughs) 
I really love 80s films and they're like their apparent use of on like on set foley. Oh yeah. Cause like usually you can you can clearly tell what's foley and what's not in a sense because it sounds so clean. But in that it had such an echo slash reverb slash hollowness that you can tell that they just used the straight up sounds of those children running on that wooden floor in the house. And then someone's going to disprove me and be like, no, everything that wasn't dialogue was Foley in this movie. And I'm going to be like, what? Who knew? Do they have like three Christmas trees? No, I was about to say that. How many Christmas trees do they have in this house? And why do they have a hole in their kitchen? <laughs> oh, Martin Riggs. Not MacGyver, but pretty close. <laughs> Both start with an M. Did she just say toast okay with you? Don't touch that pan, it's hot! I guess it wasn't that fucking hot. Yeah, your no. head was in the fucking oven. Yeah, no, if that's literally a roast. That's cooked at like 400, 425 degrees for like an hour and a half. That's going to be boiling. Man, I miss ponytails on top of people's heads. Can I just say that? Like Prince Zuko? Yeah, Prince Zuko hairstyle. I miss that. I miss when that was a thing. I also miss drinking black coffee with dinner. Wait. <laughs> who the fuck? Hey, man. In the eight, Dude, this... Bro, I, I think she's like in high yeah. school. What the fuck? Literal <laughs> sexual attraction between the new partner and his teenage daughter. Is this the 80s porno that we're about to watch? Is this what's going to happen? We're going to have to turn it off. Yeah, we're going to have to turn off if it comes to that. He's into it. Look at him. He's chugging his coffee. He's like, I need all the energy I can fucking get. This this high school girl is literally dogging me down right now. Scorsese? Wait, is there dessert honey buns? Bro, I can't remember the last time I had a honey bun. Is he beatboxing? What is that what? technique? <laughs> Wait a second. I got to put that into my repertoire. How do you do that? You guys are just spitting into your hands. That's unsanitary. Let's bring back the medieval custom where you had a bowl of water on the table so you could wash your hands before you eat. I think we should bring it back, in yeah. all honesty. I think it was a good custom that was forgotten to time. I think we should do it this weekend. Well, yeah, I know we need to do it because you don't wash your hands. I do wash my hands. <laughs> I know you do. I was trying to make a funny joke, a funny haha joke, you know? He's got a boat. He's got a broken down kitchen, but he's got a full on boat. That's well, also He said that. He talked about how he had a boat in the car and... Bro, I can't wait till uh, St. Patrick Day when McDonald's bring back their Shamrock Shake. I've never had one, but I get excited when it comes back. I'm the same way. <laughs> any, any I'm excited for all the people that do like it. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's every time McDonald's or any restaurant has like a, a, t a limited time special. I'm always like, I feel happy for the people that get to eat that, but the, I'm not for it. The only one I, I really go for is the Make Taco rib. Bell. Oh, never mind. I take it the all nacho back. nacho fries. The nacho fries are literally like a staple of Taco Bell now, though. They they, they still like I know. seasonal. I it's like the McRib. The, but they're not even seasonal. It's like they take two months off and then they bring them back. And they still keep that. That month sucks, though. Yeah, but then they keep the loaded fries on the menu. Wait, is it? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't go to Taco Bell. You're the one that goes to Taco Bell. Like, way, what's going day. on with this movie? Bro, he's fixing up the Shamrock Shake. <laughs> that's what oh, he's that's doing. That's where this all came from. Yeah, then, sorry. I thought you were paying more. I told you I was only paying attention to the background elements of this film. I'm not paying attention to the, end, to the plot, the actors, or anything. He's about to turn on this boat and take off down the road. What? Oh, he was working on the engine. He was afraid it was going to, like, burst. I was really expecting a Grand Theft Auto 5 moment.
I like how she's trying to sound intellectual. Wait, because a man has dimples? You not? What kind of judgment is that? Yeah, that's really like most people have dimples. The fact that you don't have dimples is kind of weird. I would not say yes to you. Wrong. Right? Wait. So wait, wait, did she just say, what did she say? I don't know. Oh, I think she got in trouble for smoking weed. That's no, I think she grounded. got in trouble for drinking. Wait. No, no, because that's why she made the thing of like beer is legal, but grass isn't. Oh. Was well, Mel Gibson always this short, or am I just? I think this, this actor wrong? might. It, um, the other actor might be really tall. Uh, what was it? There was a recent movie that was just filmed. I think it was The Irishman or whatever. That. Uh, oh, he was in Joe. Why did I, Why can't I never remember actors' names? Joker. Yeah, he was like Joaquin the talk show Ho oh, host. Oh, Joaquin Phoenix. Oh God, uh, the Nito. The Oh, God, why can't I remember anyone's fucking names ever? It's okay. But no, there was a... I think it was the Irishman. No, Paul uh, De Niro. Oh. The, yeah. He he had to, like, walk on apple boxes and, like, one-foot-tall stilettos the entire movie because of the character he was playing was supposed to be, like, similar height and or taller than other characters. And he was so short. And he was so short that they put him on apple boxes and, like, stilettos the entire film. That's so funny. That little reflection in the window there really shows the duality of man. You can call me Gibson. <laughs> no, I was just saying that to save face. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him. I saw the bacon and the egg she cooked in the beginning of the film. Well, the egg was on the floor. Yeah, and it was bloody raw. <laughs> Where's the lamb sauce, dude? He's so drunk, he's got... What? When he switched to a robe? I thought that was the door to the garage. Wait. Is this cat's name Burbank? Ah, uh, my cocaine stash. What was it? What was it? Wait, did that say Sergeant Mustache? What if it? That, I literally just thought, what if that was a gun and it's a cop like <laughs> set? Ah, <laughs> uh, the early versions of Netflix. I like how the evidence bag was like open already. Yeah, no. Sorry, honey. I, I saw that we got some packages, and I just wanted to make sure they just weren't wanted, mine. I just got curious. I got curious. So I want to make sure I, 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 I saw the weird VHS tape and the high school yearbook, and I just decided not to tell you that it was here. I wanted you to get drunk enough to, like, walk into the middle of the house to see the cat eating whatever food it was and these women showering on this VHS tape and shooting the camera with water that was obviously not waterproof because that wasn't a thing at the time. Why is this not an 80s porno? I, I'm i still waiting for it in all honesty. Literally everything but the script points to it. Yeah, literally. Like the music, the just undertones of the whole thing, the naked women. It just, it all just points. Just the nudity to, in general. Yeah, it all points to a, oh, that, that's a noir shot right there. Like classic, just shadow and light. Oh man, Hunsacker. What kind of name is Hunsacker? Oh man, those sax riffs. 
Hot diggity damn. Look at that cat. Most interesting just character in the on movie. Him. I wish she just poured it on him. Wait, that's Riggs. Sorry, I got distracted by the hairy, hairy hands. Bro, that's a $19 watch from Walmart. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Day. <laughs> We Dude, gotta catch uh, baddies. Mel Gibson is a good guy in this film. I swear. He's the best character. He's like, no, I just wanted to lay down in your bed, actually. What? This doesn't seem real, but it also seems very real for the 80s. And I don't know if that's just a product of all 80s movies in general. Or just like, this is what I believe the 80s was. Like, I this feel was, like that's how um, a lot of like people like hundreds of years from now will look at movies is like little time capsules of our yeah yeah of, no except for us it'll be all the MCU movies and they're like wait they believed in this stuff <laughs> Spider Man was real wait a second well no all I'm think literally I'm just like oh the eighties was they drank black coffee for every meal and then they followed it up with a few tall boys. Or like smoke cigarettes. Yeah, smoke cigarettes or grass if you uh weren't a cop. Bro, all I'm saying is that Mel Gibson's smart with wearing those yellow glasses, blocking all that blue light to hurt his eyes. I get it. I understand. Oh, I bet uh Mel Gibson's gonna outshoot him. Well, of course Mel Gibson can outshoot him. He's Mel Gibson. He's practice. Practiced. It's all bullseyes. What if it's only yeah, singular? Yeah, one, one's all bullseyes I, and his is kind of scattered. I no, bet I it. want it to just be a singular hole. Ooh. Oh. What if Mel Gibson's was just a singular hole and all of his bullets went through the same hole? What if he was that deadly accurate? You youngsters don't need any warm-up time. But my carpal tunnel and arthritis needs a little bit of working in. He's going to miss every shot. He misses. I want it to be a miss. He's going to shoot the hole. <laughs> yeah, he's going to shoot through the hole. I need it. That's what I want to see. Oh, no. He's just going to go all the way back. <laughs> oh, this is nice. I kind of like this. Yeah. <laughs> this is very good pacing. He's going to shoot three shots and there'll be a, no, him. he's going to do three shots and it's going to be a triangle around his shot. Oh, never mind. Oh, he's going for a hexagon. What if it comes back and it's still only one hole? That's all. That's literally, that'd be the perfect, perfect scene. That's all I want to see. I just don't want to see one hole. It's just wider. He's just waiting. That's that's clever because that's blocking it so you can't see. It. <laughs> oh my god, that's good. I that's man. Who would have thought Mel Gibson would have fallen that's from grace? That's a pretty grace? good scene. I really like that. Who would have thought Mel Gibson would fall from grace? That boy's wearing three D glasses. This is the eighties. <laughs> this is the eighties. It's so wacky. Why is it, why is Wait, it those are just crayons. Look at that snowman. It's just on the roof. Those kids literally just asked if they were going to do a sex scene. I swear that's what I heard. No. You're going to fuck Trixie? Stixie? What did they say? <laughs> yeah. I swear they were drawing on that... Holy shit. What is this? 
80s fucking action. Holy shit. Yes. <laughs> I like all the planes in the sky. Bro, don't damage the car. You kidding me? I look at his like cow. I like the kid's cowboy jacket. Yeah, no, I was thinking about that too. I like the added effect of all the dogs barking in the background because that's exactly what a dog would do. I'm out of breath. Let me get a cigarette. Dude, that boy in the background's reaching out thinking, oh my God, this is so real. <laughs> Everything's three dimensional. That it's like, it's, it's must- like the world is coming at me. <laughs> Nothing's flat anymore. What if Lethal Weapon was in 3D? <laughs> that's all I want. I need Lethal Weapon to be in 3D. I'm sure Lethal Weapon 3 was in 3D because that was just a common trend for 80s movies. Which war? Isn't that where they were like at when the explosion happened? No, never mind. They're walking past it. I thought. Who said that? Yeah, don't talk to strangers. Uh oh. <laughs> Not gonna lie, as a kid, I would be more creeped out by this guy. If yeah. you talk to me that way. You want to see me well, fire I also it? like as a six year old. <laughs> I could see. No, I understand why he's talking that way. What I'm saying is like if someone came up to me at six talking to me that way, I would I would honestly kind of be freaked out. Oh, Jesus. Bro, don't reach towards him. He's going to freak out. He's going to think it's too real. <laughs> they had to put something around him so the 3D glasses wouldn't fall off. Yeah, no, I was about to say that they got to they had to put on those like weird sunglass elastic straps yeah. <laughs> that you can hang around your neck. What I was going to say is uh his glasses kind of remind me of what you get when you go to the eye doctor and have to get your eyes dilated and they give you like cheapo sunglasses that oh, way. Oh yeah. Um- Cause like after your eyes are dilated, you're so sensitive to light. That's all I'm thinking about. Is this guy just has a this kid just has a stigma? Oh, never mind. I take it all back. He's just weird. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say you can't ask a kid if a guy's tall because everything's tall to them. Besides other kids. Wait, what you ta- what? Uh-oh. N- Uh-oh. Never. He's part of the gang. Never quit? Is that what that Wait, says? Wait, he saw this from under the porch. Yeah, that's small of a tattoo. Unless this man had a full half calf of that Those tattoo. 3D, 
Those, those 3D, 3D glasses, glasses are... made the pat- tattoo pop out. No, they're fucking binoculars. That's what I'm saying. Well, with the coloring of that tattoo, maybe it was 3D. Man, I remember I actually had children's books back in the day that came with 3D glasses and had 3D visuals in the book. Wild times. Wait, whose funeral is this? Caught by day. Wedding photographer by night. I mean, wait. Bro, this is a Back to the Future prequel. That's Marty McFly out there. <laughs> Mel Gibson is Marty McFly. <laughs> Marty McFly as Mel Gibson. Reverse it. That's what makes it better. Think of it this way. No, this has to happen after. This is an 87. No, I understand, but what I'm saying is that Martin Riggs, or Marvin Riggs, or Mr. Riggs, it's, it's just Mr. Marty McFly Fly. after he's married. But I, this movie is better to me if I think of the cop character that Mel Gibson plays as Mel Gibson and Mel Gibson as the character. So this is Mr. Riggs as Mel Gibson. Okay. Bro, he's out there trying to stop his mom from kissing him out there. Give us his exposition. My favorite 80s movie trope, the exposition scene. To get all the infinity stones. What you don't know as Mel Gibson is Thor. And this is the beginning of the MCU as we know it. Wait, isn't this just Captain Thunder or General Thunder Ross? What's his no, name? No, General Thunderbolt Ross. You had it right. Yeah, I knew it. I know Marvel characters. You can't get one past me. Hey, Marty McFly. Party Nog. Party, Party Nog. Nog. Christmas. He's drinking it from the curtain. He said, I'm getting a carton for everybody at this funeral. I like how all of them are party nog, except for the one he was drinking. He he wanted the cheap stuff for everyone else, but he wanted the high class eggnog milk carton for The good nog for him. Green label, good. Red label, bad. Ever had eggnog? No? What? Have you ever had eggnog? Uh... I can't remember if I have or not. I feel like I, I've had a sip and I didn't like it. And that's why I haven't had it a lot. You know, in all honesty, I really want to go to like a liquor store and get the old smoky moonshine shine nog. Oh, that sounds awful. And bro, l- what I'm saying is that then go get actual eggnog and just mix the two. Because they have one that's like Java flavored and it's just moonshine and coffee mixed together. But if you mix it oh, with Jesus. <laughs> the eggnog got shot. No, oh my god. Oh my, why would you turn around in that instance? How's the helicopter flying that low? Marty, you fly, save him. It just fucking crashes. I wish. That's a fun shot. That must have been hard to fucking do. Yeah, no, I feel like the cameraman was just pointing. Yeah, he was just, just like, like, I'm trying know, to I'm get shooting. this. <laughs> but, uh, no, Old Smokey makes some, like, Java moonshine that's, like, chocolate coffee. You've told me about this. Yeah, and it's actually really good in coffee. Have you tried so, it? Yeah, no, if you're, if you're wanting to start off your morning, right? And you, <laughs> <laughs> you, you want to go to Starbucks and get you some, like, caramel mocha frappuccino bullshit or whatever they have. Pour a little bit of that in yeah, there. Yeah, pour a little old smoky Java moonshine in there. Man, you're starting your day off good. <laughs> and that's why Jesus I want to, that's why I want to do the shine nog. Cause it's just like, you know what? Might as well hit all bases. Oh my God. That makes my stomach curl. Does it? Like dairy, okay. 
What's mm. funny is that I like Old Smoky Moonshine's dairy flavors more than I like their typical ones. So I had I just have a bad thing with like dairy and alcohol. No, like I had um I had Bailey's once oh, years ago. And, yeah, and it wasn't because ba- it's not that Bailey's is bad. It's the fact that it was warm, dude. No, or like r- not warm, but room temp. No, yeah, I like for me drinking alcohol room temp is like kind of weird. I can understand it for like just liquor, but like for stuff that you would for creamy. Yeah, I has like, to be cold. Yeah, like if it's creamy, like if it's a creamy drink, it needs to be cold. Or a, like, oh no, Mel Gibson is dead. We've been talking about alcohol. And don't worry about it. He's an alcoholic. Oh, he oh, had a bullet. He had a vest. He's saved. He's okay. But no, I I I actually like the dairy products from Old Smoky more than their actual like moonshine. moonshine. There's like two or three fl- flavors that I actually like. Like I really like their like pecan, like butterscotch esque flavor. Yeah. But the ones I like the most are like their dairy based flavors, which is weird because being lactose intolerant, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> But maybe that's what I'll do when we have our Christmas get together. Bring a big old batch of like five cartons of eggnog, some shine nog from Old Smoky. Have a good time. You knew who it was. We have to reach 58 miles an hour. Bro, this is Lily, Doc, and Marty right here. Wait. Are we sure this isn't Back to the Future? I'm starting to believe this is Back to the Future. It's just reversed. Because Doc Brown was dead and Marty was alive. He went back to the future. Whatever. I will say something that I love about 80s films and how is how much little bits they add in. Like, you could just say his line, but he's leaning over the Mel Gibson, but hey, man, what's up, dude? You know, you did a pretty good job, but uh, back to my radio. Yeah. Like, I love how 80s just add that little, like, scat and bob stuff. It's like the little things, like, uh, people love about Quentin Tarantino's movies. Just a little bit of, like, You mean humanity. the feet shots? Yeah, that. Um, <laughs> the little, like, the bit of, like, humanity in like the scenes like where it feels like they're breaking character or, like breaking like their action but it's just kind of like naturalistic yeah, what's going no. on I feel like 80s movies really hit that on the head the whole naturalism thing like yeah the dialogue was shitty but it felt real in a sense and nowadays it's just like everything feels so clean cut that's like you only hear what you need to hear like, I mean, people do say cheesy shit, so, like, every once in a while, like, that... Bro, look at their... Why they have their guns out? It's this... It's, it's his house! Yeah! Oh, I think it's because they know... They're worried about, like... I think they know the bad guys are onto them. Oh, that was a nice steady cam shot. You could really tell when the steady cam operator was like, Oh, I gotta run. <laughs> <gasps> she didn't pick up the mail? I know she's hurt. Oh, that's not the second no, Christmas it's a tree. Note. Only your daughter? Wait, which one? You haven't checked the mail. Uh, finally, a normal-looking telephone in this movie. (laughs) 
If they got my kid, they got your kid. Even though you don't got no kids. God damn it. What you don't what you don't know is when you donated your semen last month, they took that too. You wouldn't even have unknown kids. Imagine how like dumb of an action movie that would be. Like um the like plot line is uh some the bad guy like took someone's semen, inseminated <laughs> somebody, and then was like, We have your unknown kid hostage. You we have, have to say <laughs> you have we have your unborn child. You must submit to us. You must you must submit to our demands. I can see that. Is that Thanos? <laughs> <laughs> the mix of like Josh Brolin and Tom Cruise. <laughs> yeah. I swear that's Dolph Lundgren. Not this guy, the guy before. The one that burned his arm into beef jerky. Wait, that's an actual cop car. It I is. thought they didn't have those in the 80s. They do. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I said the same to you. Bro, look at that Christmas lighting. There is more than red on that tree. <laughs> that is not true. I only see red. It's the blood of my enemies. See, they're both contemplating killing, which is why this scene is red. It really signifies the duality of man. Did you like that recurring joke I just made right there, that little callback? Wait, his name's Roger? Yep, we figured that out. Is he from a beautiful neighborhood? No. From a wonderful neighborhood? Does he have sock puppets? I love these shots, except that's out of focus. It's okay. The contrast makes up for it. Except for the fact that this is all not red. What is that little robot? Yeah, I was about to ask that. I was like, what's that from? I don't recognize it. I don't recognize that, like, toy structure. Me either. Which, I mean, I understand we weren't, like, alive at this time, but I... I play with a lot of, like, 80s and 90s toys. Same. Especially, like, toys like that, like Legos, Bionicles, and stuff like that. Like, little robotic yeah, sci-fi sci shit. little robotic stuff, so I feel like I would know. <laughs> the way he's running. Yeah, no, I was about to say, I, like, I feel like this is the start of, like, you know how old school hunters would send off dogs to hunt foxes, like the fox hunts? <laughs> He just let out his dog, Mel yeah, Gibson. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> he just let out the fox, and they're like gonna wait until they had to release the dogs. Is that a helicopter? I think so. How are they? How how is Mel Gibson gonna hide, bro? How is Mel Gibson gonna run? How is it happening? A sniper, does it? I mean, I understand that, but did you see how he was running? Like, literally, his arms weren't moving. It was only his hands going back and forth in his legs. Oh, wait, they have a helicopter and a car. They have, like, a convoy. I think so. I really hope this, yep. like, Transformers and now all that dust, there's actually... Oh, there's more cars. <laughs> Every time it switches back to that shot, we learn more about it. When are they going to get there? It's been like a minute of them driving. Oh, dude, we're talking about how well paced this movie is. And honestly, I think this is pretty good. Take the shot. Take the shot. Shoot him. Wait, is there? Wait, when that was that guy just standing there? He got out. He got out. Did he? Yep. Oh, okay. I thought he like there's another motorcycle. Wait, there's another car. I swear every there time we come behind. back every time I we come back to this shot, we get more information. Do you not notice the other no. car? No. I noticed there were two cars. I never noticed There are only two. Oh wait, that's that's it that's his car. Oh. I did not understand this shot until you just explained it. I literally thought this was What's a that stuff on the side? I think that's a sandbag. Oh my god. <laughs> I literally thought that there was a third car and a man already standing out there in front of the helicopter and all that. I did not think that was Roger. It was Roger. The entire time. Oh, 
What happened to the sensual sax? I miss it. I feel like it would work well in this scene. <laughs> All right. Set it down. Easy. Okay. Turn off the rotors and get out. And step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. That was too fast. You waited. That was too fast. Everyone on time now? Three, two, one. And point your guns. No, okay, never mind. What a ragtag group of guys. Mel Gibson pulls some like wanted shit and uh kills all of them in like one shot. <laughs> no, I I want I forget what movie it is when they curve the bullet. Wanted. Was it wanted? That's what I was saying. Oh, I get it. He just does one shot and it goes through everybody. Yeah, <laughs> Somehow it, it like hits the skull. Like and like just bounces. right. It's just like, oh, we're going. What? What was that performance? What was that line delivery? Wait, does that grenade have such range that it would take her out too? I mean, I I don't know, but I thought grenade explosions were pretty, like, small radius. It's the shrapnel. But That's yeah, but deadly. she's so far away that I feel like by the time the shrapnel could have hit her, she would have been fallen to the ground. I feel like everyone in this instance would survive except for Roger. I feel like he's going to throw the grenade and Mel Gibson's going to shoot it. <laughs> That's what I want to see. I literally want to see him throw the grenade and him shoot it. What? It looked like he shot him. Not my tricep. <gasps> Mel Gibson, you hero. There's blood Ooh, on the camera react lens. Their reaction was amazing. Stop jumping and screaming and run. I would just like to say that this feels like the finale of the movie, but we still have 20 minutes. We're getting there. Well, I feel like this is going to go on for like 20 more minutes. You think so? You yeah. You think this final like act is going to go on? You know, in all honesty, when, when we started watching this movie, I did not I expect like, it to be this way. Okay. Here, I didn't, let me give my prediction. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay. It's, com it's coming true. Their plan's going to... His plan's going to fail. They're going to take his daughter and then there's one last fight between... Just hit, just the bad guys and the two and the two protagonists. Okay. I swear this is the guy from Rocky four or five. I I haven't seen all the Rockies. I haven't either. I haven't seen Rocky. Oh, you haven't? Uh uh. Actually, I haven't either. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I've only seen Creed. That's the only film in the Rocky like universe I've seen. This Creed, fucking, like one that's kind of. Rocky, yeah, he's I've never there. even seen Creed 2. I've only seen Creed, that's the only one. My like, my cousins were in town from out of state, and we decided we wanted to go see a movie. So, Creed was in, in theaters, and we're like, you know what, let's watch a boxing slash wrestling movie, even though we weren't into boxing or wrestling. You know, Creed is totally a boxing movie. I don't know why I said wrestling. Oh, I didn't even realize that was Mel Gibson and him <laughs> talking for a second. Yeah. What are you going to do? Dude, land the helicopter on the That's car. That's what he's going to do. But wouldn't that, I feel like that'd fuck up the helicopter more than it'd fuck up the car. I don't know, man. As long as he can keep that helicopter stable. Does this helicopter not have a built-in rocket launcher? 
Because I feel like that's what you know all how 80s long it takes had. for like a fucking helicopter to like turn around. I guess it's not too fucking bad, but couldn't you just slam the brakes and it like? Oh yeah, shoot it's just forward? like oh no. Also, I like how the top speed of this car cannot outspeed a helicopter. I'm sure, dude, that person in the car had a gun, guaranteed. Oh, I'm yeah. Sure she, she didn't know how to use it. Well, though. no, I was like, about to say, she school. spent like 30 seconds just standing there shaking and screaming yeah. after her, the henchman got shot that was holding her. So I wonder if, uh, no, never mind. That's a dumb thing to say. No, that, say that, it. That last shot kind of reminded me of like some scenes from Breaking Bad. Oh, and what were you about to say? I wonder if Breaking Bad got inspiration from like this. Like visual inspiration from it. I mean, I'm sure. Breaking Bad had a lot of like old school desert 80s movie inspiration from some of their shots. They just made it more like oddly modern. Uh, and about it? meth. Yeah, and about meth. That's where so you is it away. like, are they doing like Chinese water torture? Yeah, I was about to say, is this, what kind of torture method is this? Giving them a hot shower and a loofah? Like. <laughs> Bro, why does Mel Gibson's armpit hair literally reach from the, like, the middle of his chest all the way up until his forearm? I take it back. All the other shots made it seem like his armpit hair was actually that long, but now that I'm actually looking at it, it doesn't. What's this weird rotating like light that's happening in the background here? I think it's like a swinging like light bulb. It's rotating like a ceiling fan though. And it's being blocked by a shadow. It's not yeah. Yeah, it's one of the, the it's one of those lights just swinging up there. You think so? Yeah, someone manually doing it. Oh, it's gonna shock them. Bro, it's a loofah. No, it's an electrified loofah. Electri no, it's a loofah attached to a waxer. It's gonna rotate so fast it rips off his skin. Jesus Christ. That's a good torture idea. Take his nipples off. It's actually a, an electrified loofah. Yeah. I noticed a uh, dude had like battery cables. That makes no sense. Bro, look at Mel Gibson's six pack. It's almost an eight pack. Wait, the other guy gets like Chinese water touch torture and electrocution, and this guy just gets a punch to the jaw. Nah, it's, it looks like it's been more than that. Oh, he got shot in the tricep or bicep. Oh, whatever. he's been salt on his wounds. <laughs> oh, a true classic. Oh, this is like gunshot wound. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, from earlier. He's dead. That, I'm that sure acting. of it. Yeah, that was pretty rough. I'll say that. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> this is you what I snap needed. his neck like this? I hope so. That's what I want to see. Mel Gibson is a wild man. Yes.
Besides Mel Gibson. Dun, dun, he just dun. threw that dude on him. Yes. The sensual sax is back. This is literally what we wanted. This is it. This is what we wanted. Get him, Mel Gibson. Show him your eight pack. They punched him in the other eye, yet his eye... <laughs> the eye they didn't punch was swollen. The more you know. It's okay. Reading Rainbow. What did he just say? Get the flock out of here? Are we not watching the R-rated version of Lethal Weapon? I think we are. I haven't heard any other swear words, though. Jesus Christ. I thought they'd get one. Wait, is the villain's name Joshua? I have no idea. Is that what I just... Yeah, I've, <laughs> I'm literally just here for the 80s action. That's it. I don't care about anything else that happens in this film. Oh, yeah. No one yeah. heard the gunshot. Yeah, the music's too loud. Don't you know that cl like common cliche? I like how he's walking. He's like, okay, act normal. I have a gun behind my back. I'm shirtless. Act normal. And, sh oh, and there, there we go. We go. Uh, now everyone can hear the gunshots. The music stopped. Bro, there's a party on the dance floor. He was aiming at the floor in that shot. Look, he's literally aiming at the floor. He doesn't know what to fucking do. Well, you could at least point your gun straight. That give you a better chance to point it at the floor. <laughs> just think about that. An, an, ah! 80, yeah, an 80s villain just running around the street. Ah! Some GTA shit. This is where San Andreas got its plot. He walked up to that car and pressed Y. <laughs> <laughs> Some high octane action. Yeah, dude. This is literally... This is all I want in 80s films. If Die Hard isn't like this when we watch... Oh, shit. I just spoiled what we're watching. Uh-oh. We're watching uh -oh. Die Hard next week. <laughs> Another Christmas film. I wonder if it's... What if he just ran? Not <laughs> getting into a car. Just ran the entire... Hey, he, he is. He is just and running. He, and he just gets faster and faster until yeah. he runs the speed of the car itself. He's like that, catching yeah. up to it. Yeah. That's all I want to see. <laughs> I thought he was going to toss on the pistol. <laughs> Catch this. <laughs> It's like that weird it's Michael. Your Beretta. It's that like old school basketball commercial with like Michael Jordan where he like tosses the jersey. No, it wasn't. It was a uh, Matt. Wait, who was it? It was Shaq, wasn't it? I don't know what commercial. Shaq like tosses about. his jersey at the kids like here, kid. Catch. Oh, oh that that trope. Yeah. yeah, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to toss the the, the gun, but like, gun. here, kid, catch, and he misses it. But and then it when fires. it yeah it lands, it fires, and it shoots him right in the heart. End of film. Yeah. Then we wouldn't have lethal weapon. Uh, two through nineteen. Have they made that many lethal weapons? It, it, no, there's like up to four. I think. I'm pretty sure it's up to four. That's all that's on Hulu is up to four. Bro, how are there not more cops showing up? I feel like also, just how no did he? How did he know exactly which car? What I'm saying is, like, how is Mel Gibson running around the street with an unbuttoned, like, shirt and a fully automatic gun and no one's called the cops yet? Well, they they did. You don't hear the sirens? I just heard the sirens, but it's a... Bro, this man's trying to escape in a flaming car. That dude would never fucking happen. Yeah, no, at this point, I would have been getting out and be like, see ya, peace out, sucker. But also, if you hit a telephone pole, that shit ain't moving. Yeah, that's true. Like your car is going <laughs> Those around. Those guys are first. running up, be like, "Hey, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> I know you just got shot, but like, you good? No litter in our streets. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Littering will cost you a $500 fine. <laughs> Might have sponsored. <laughs> yeah, it's sponsored by Audi. Just like honestly, Audi sponsors a lot of movies now that yeah. I think about it. They're like the film I feel like I see the most when it comes to like movies. Which is so weird because it's like high end cars. Yeah. yeah. I'm cool, I'm cool. You made me miss the perp. Cutting straight to the chase. Yeah. They're like, no, we don't need a scene to tie this together. Ah, sensual sax is back. Are we ever going to learn about the girl in the beginning? Oh, wait, we did. Yeah. Yeah, it was all about heroin. Never mind. I take it all back. I thought they literally hadn't tied that all together. Here it comes. His accuracy. (gasps) It's gotten he, better. Just like in the in the little shooting scene. He yeah. hit him right in the nose. Right up the nostril. Oh, that's nice. I like those little burn marks yeah, on the side of the car. Lumbies. I like how he's still managing to kind of drive with that. Man, remember when car crashes were all like real? And they didn't just CGI it. Yeah, I miss those days <laughs> where the cars had real physics. What do you mean real physics? You trying to say CGI isn't f- like physically accurate? Yeah, uh, some can be. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I would say, uh, what is? Uh, let me do the math. And ninety percent of the ninety nine percent of the time, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's reaching for a grenade, but there was one right beside him, like right on his shoulder. And now he's dead. Rest in peace, our movie villain. Wait. Was that the villain? One of them. Whoa, did you see that pink hair in the background? Oh my God. I need more of that Blade Runner nonsense. What if Mel Gibson started oh, Blade Runner? Oh, so this Runner? is where the sequel will probably go into effect. They'll find they're gonna find the other guy. Oh, but no, that that does raise the question. Like, what if Mel Gibson started in Blade Runner? Think about how that movie would have been rough. What do you mean rough? I don't know. This is probably <laughs> in the height of his career, so yeah, it probably would have been good. Wait, the oh okay. See, I, thought, get it. I thought the car was reversed and I was like, wait, the Listen, steering wheel's on the opposite side. This is side? like a, that was like an important moment though. Because remember earlier he, Riggs offered to drive and he was like, Fuck no, you're not gonna drive, but now he's finally letting him drive. Yeah, it's cause they built character trust when Riggs was like tied up by <laughs> chains and like electrocuted by a loofah. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Dolph Lundgren said, "Nah." I don't, I actually don't know if that's who I'm thinking it is. If I it, really if hope not, it's not. Yeah, no. If not, like that's a fucking good ass look alike. But also, he looks really old in this, and I don't. Oh, I feel like Mel get the like twist is that they're already in the house. Yeah, they're already prepared. Yeah, they're already like perched up. They're like, "Haha, I got you, sucker." It is Christmas. Christmas. I like how there's just a random clamp right there on the fucking stair. Well, have you seen the the state of disrepair? Dear bad guys, no one here but cops 
The good, oh, they were stationed up here uh -huh. before. <laughs> well, that just doesn't wait. That cop car already had bullet holes in it when it drove through the. Because it was the cop car that he just shot up. I like that little whistle. Yeah, me too. Hey there. Wait, aren't they referencing Rocky right there? Wait. Wait. When does turn the <laughs> when he gets so wet? Wait a second. When does turn the karate kid? Wait, when whoa. Did, What's going wait, when did it start raining? When the, whoa. Oh no, they just went under the fire hydrant. I know, but like they started the scene wet. Did anyone else see that woman in white run across yeah. the screen, or was that just me? <laughs> he just ran out, kicked him. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is straight up turned into a wrestling film. I think this is part of their weird cult that we never figured out about because we weren't paying attention. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because Mel Gibson had that tattoo. Yeah, because he was like, you want to shot at the title. So I think it's something to do with that. Huh. Who would have thunk? Not us, because we didn't pay attention to that. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Why are you cheering him on? Just fucking arrest the guy. Bro, this is the 80s. Oh, this I is, thought he was about to get impaled into this something. This is literally how they arrested people. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that was, uh... I don't know how... I, I don't know where I'm going with that. Is this a JoJo reference? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna sword fight. Yes! Is he using a police baton to fight this man with a column in his hands? This is fucking rad. <laughs> this is so 80s. <laughs> Mel Gibson's a wild man. I love this. It's absurd. They're fighting in the mud. Now they're just mud wrestling, yeah. Oh, he's trying is he, he trying to drown? drown him? That's only like two centimeters of water. You can't do that. That he's was going a, Hulk. That was yeah, I was gonna say that was not Mel Gibson speaking. That was his inner monster. Snaps his neck just from the pure force. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I love how much fucking water's on the lens at that shot. Wherever that camera is, it's always hazy. Yeah. That's just this whole film. Well, no, cut back. when it cuts to a different shot, that one's more, definitely more this clear. This shot is more in focus than the rest of the film. I'm just talking about like how hazy. No, not I even know, but what I'm saying is that last shot was literally more in focus than the rest of the film. <laughs> <gasps> Mel Gibson finally had some character development. He understood the wrong of his ways. <laughs> oh, that was I a like good that. one. That was a good line. Get that shit off my lawn. I like that Dutch. Oh. Uh oh. oh. 
I like that <gasps> slow motion. Oh, he's gonna. That was a double oh, shot. That is. Who's bullet killed? Who's bullet killed? That's like classic slow mo eighties too. It's not even like true slow mo. It's you cut the frame, like it's a weird, odd frame well, blending technique where isn't you. Isn't that the only way you could have done slow mo at that time? I'm not for sure. I mean, no, you had like normal slow mo. It's just like there was this weird like frame cutting technique for slow mo that you could also do. That was like that technique. They did it in like a, a Jim Hansen like Muppet type thing. Yeah, there was like a there was like a a very clear example of how they used to do it, where their slow mo was like He's a weird. His wife. It wasn't Sorry. even friend friend blaming blending. It was frame extending, and it caused this weird, like flashy, odd, like trippy nonsense to the slow mo. Huh. Now it is actually raining. Yeah. Well, that's a nice little scene connection, you know. It was it was a uh, fire hydrant raining in the previous scene. Now it's actually raining, even though the sun's shining. Oh, that's nice green lights. Good thing Christmas is here. Gotta fix the door, dude. It lo- I think it says Christmas on the door. Yeah, it's. She still got the hots for him. I feel like even now she's like even hotter for him now that like he saved her. That's weird. Don't tell your dad, okay. Yeah, I got you a present. He's saying he doesn't want to kill himself anymore. Hey, character development, Mel Gibson, yay! It's the it's so weird, like a fucking forty-year-old <laughs> man and like a fucking high schooler. Like Bro, the it, was the 80s. it was the eighties. It was the eighties. I know he's probably not 40 that it right there, but still. Yeah. My wife doesn't want me to talk to you anymore. When he say Christmas turkey, that's like the reverse of what you always hear. It's the Christmas ham and the Thanksgiving turkey. This man's living out our dream. Man. I just some having some fucking turkey. Yeah, having turkey for Christmas instead of ham. When he get a dog. Oh, that's a dog from the beginning yeah. running on the beach. For Christmas. For Christmas. Hey oh. Bro, what just happened? That was a mask. Oh, the dog and the cat. Yep. Oh, it talks about the duality of man right there. You know, the difference. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it was a good joke and you know it. Well, here we are. Oh, wait. Oh, no. No, I want to go back to the credits. Hulu, stop. There we go. Mel Gibson, Danny Glover, Gary Busey. Oh, that was Gary Busey. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong the entire fucking film. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm so upset with myself. So, um, what do you think of this? <laughs> Alfred, um, Alfred's friend one, Alfred's friend two. <laughs> Alfred, Alfred was a popular fucking guy. Burbank the cat was, and Sam the dog. Oh my god. I love it. That was their actual names. Honestly, uh, now that I've watched Lethal Weapon, I understand Lethal Weapon. I I kind of I understand I re- the appeal. I, I like it's I, definitely not like a serious movie. Well, like, like okay, but it's for a, me, I've never really been into like '80s action films. Like I've never like I was more into the '80s for the thriller horror movies that came out yeah. during the time than the action flicks that came out during the time. So like after watching this, I understand the appeal. Would I watch this film again? Honestly, I probably need to because I have no clue what happened. That's true. I I was I, I was kind of want to watch it again. It seems, uh, but it's also like maybe is that the point to watch it without knowing what's going on? 
I don't know. I think it's just this fucking stare at the cool action that's happening. Yeah, no, which I literally did deliver feel, on. I feel like that's literally the the point is the just like oh look at all these awesome action scenes. Look at these look at these top name actors that were putting in this wacky like situation type deal. Like I feel like this is quintessential eighties. Hair, Mel 80s. Gibson's hairstyle created by Ramsey. Wait, does that actually? A it thing? just it just did went it off. Say that. Yeah. Oh my! Thank goodness. But no, I, I feel like this is like quintessential 80s flick. Oh, yeah. This is like. Like, I feel like we're going to watch Die Hard and we're going to well, be like, this isn't many, 80s like, enough. Think of how many like tropes came from Lethal Weapon thinking about it, though. Oh, like, yeah. The true. whole fucking like good cop. With, oh, with the wild here's card. all the Christmas, mo- the Christmas songs, Jingle Bell Rock, A Christmas. Ca- oh, that's <laughs> it. That There was only three songs in the entire film. What's college football so. game? What is college football game? As no a, clue. Uh, wow, these are really short credits. Wow. We're almost done. Oh, wow. The song here is called Lethal Weapon. Oh, that's nice. But anyways, uh, Lethal Weapon, quintessential 80s film. I enjoyed it in all yeah, honesty. I'd like, give it like a 7 out of 10. Really? 7.5? I mean, for an 80s movie, I would agree with that. For a now movie, I would say like a... A four. I'm <laughs> saying like out of like how much I enjoyed it, how much fun I had. No, I, I get that. I'm in the I'm in the pretty similar boat. But for now, thank I mean thank you so much for watching Lethal Weapon. This was a grand old time. It was a, a fun time. And oh, now Hulu's, Lethal Weapon. Oh god, here, Lethal Weapon two starting. This is a double feature now. Damn Kidding. you, autoplay. But my name's Chayton. And I'm Fish. And we'll and see you later, guys. Yeah, see you guys later. Make sure to join us back next time for some more movie talks on your favorite podcast platform where we'll be watching Die Hard, another Christmas film.